Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back again to A Different Opinion. Today, we're going to be looking at this senator on the screen today. Her name is Lydia Thorpe, and she's just come out and said that she was actually sexually assaulted in Parliament as she was inappropriately touched. So she said she was followed um, in one of the corridors. She went up to the stairs and apparently was cornered. And allegedly, this senator here, David Van, touched her. And the reason why I say allegedly is because anything this senator says, you have to take with not just a grain of salt, but I would say like a whole jug of salt. Okay, like throw it all on there and then you make your mind up because she is known to be a liar, cheater, everything you could pretty much imagine under the sun. I don't even know how she is still a senator. And unfortunately, she is one of those senators from the new generation, people like Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez, from New York, who constantly, as soon as things don't go her way, they play the victim card, first of all, or they scream that everyone else is racist, okay? This is literally the way that she plays it. And the thing that she says as well in there is that the only place where there isn't any cameras is, ironically, also just in the staircases, apparently. So, of course, nothing was caught on tape. There was no tape caught of the senator following her into the stairwell as well. So, I mean, there is just zero evidence to this claim that she's making and she reminds me of a Meghan Markle for example a, she's very much a narcissist she always screams and shouts to get her way and she tries to always think that she is correct and she's better than other people as you will see I'll go over what the other senators say about her and then take a guess what she did that evening Lydia Thorpe sensationally withdraws her sexual assault claim against David Van so that night she even went out and said that she withdraws what she said now this is what the guy that david van said in return in the chamber today senator thorpe made unfounded and completely untrue allegations against me that i immediately and unequivocally denied and continue to deny these outrageous and reprehensible comments were made by senator thorpe using parliamentary privilege so parliamentary privilege is you know you get up in front of parliament it's all videoed and all that type of stuff. You can't intervene as well. This is their moment. They can talk without being intervened. And it is not in the realm of law, should I say, where the things that she says, police can't go and say, okay, we will act on this. She has to literally, whatever she says here, can, like she says, just with, be, be withdrawn like she did. Because if she really, in my opinion, was sexually assaulted, she would have gone straight to the police because at least the police can go and arrest the guy or they can do something about it and check the evidence, all that type of stuff. Now, he says, my lawyers have written to her already, making my position clear in the strongest possible terms. Now, Pauline Hansen is this senator here. She's an older lady. Now, what she said today is when this chamber is used and abused by a certain senator, Thorpe, I will stand up and defend this chamber and what this chamber stands for and every other senator in this place that has been abused by her. As you can see here, I've been an independent woman in the lower house. The parliament is a safe place. I have no problems with it and have never had any problems with walking holes in this chamber. Because Lydia Thorpe tried to make it sound like these holes, you you know, you're alone, you're you're in danger, there's there's no escape or nothing like that. Where in reality, it's one of the safest places in the whole freaking country. Now, just to show you the background and the reason why I say you take what she says with a grain of salt. It's because look what the people say about her. The own constituents of her country. Have a read. Geo. I don't believe a single word she says. Andrew. This idiot has damaged people's opinions of indigenous causes. And now she is making a mockery of sexual harassment in the workplace. Alan. In her dreams, no one would go near her for fear of disease. John. Did, didn't she threaten a bunch of guys outside a strip club recently and busted through security perimeter at some other speaker's meeting? I'll show you these videos soon as well. She did do both of those things. Harold, rubbish. She wishes. Steve, prove it. Lynn, OMG, cry me a river. This woman has issues. She just wants the limelight off Brittany. She must go. Sean, why has she not been sacked for incitement yet? Carrie, all in her head. All the comments are negative towards her. No one likes her. Everyone knows what type of person she is. This is why I'm telling you. She screams attention. That's all she wants. Like I said, it's just another Meghan Markle. Now have a look here. So Green Senator Lydia Thorpe to snub the Queen's Memorial at Parliament House and will instead join and abolish 
the monarchy protest. So this is just after Queen Elizabeth II died, okay? She got invited to go to the parliamentary thing. She decided she'd rather go to an abolish the monarchy protest, the memorial for her, for her death. It is just... Why would someone do that? Do it another time. Don't do it at that time. That's just ridiculous. Now, this is her outside of a strip club at three in the morning. Okay. First of all, yes, this is a senator. This is how they act, apparently. And she hasn't even been fired for this. You know what I say? You know what I say yeah. to you? Shut up. You know what I say to you? And you? You're a racist penis. dog. You're oh, a penis. racist dog. Oh, so she's talking about the guy's genitals saying it's small um trying to obviously get a reaction out of the guy you can't oh, say that. To her. and then when someone calls her a racist because she is racist to white people um then she starts screaming all i want to say to the black brothers there and anyone that we're fighting any black man that stands with a white little white like that you can all get Someone Whoever stands with a white little effer like that, wow. And this guy says it perfectly. How does someone like that get into parliament? <laughs> oh, wow. And as you can see here, this was at a Posey Parker um, rally where we've been over this in the past where she'd had her one in New Zealand where, you know, she was physically attacked. A 72 year old lady was physically attacked by a young male and it got violent because of people like Lydia. Who, who crashed her rally and pretty much comes out to say that you are not allowed here. You are not allowed to talk here. So first of all, um, I'm pretty sure everyone's allowed freedom of speech, first of all. And secondly, all Posey Parker wants is for women to be heard. Like biological women, I mean. So she's trying to say that women's rights should be decided by women. What is happening more and more is you see that these rallies are going on and it's all you know, older biological ladies and... There's trans people that pretty much come out and oppose this and attack them because they're trying to say that we want to choose the rights and, you know, they might have just transitioned a year ago. They don't understand that these women have been through the actual hardship of what women went through. Have a look. You are not welcome. You are not welcome. So that's what we do, apparently, as a, as a senator, you scream over people and just say you're not welcome because they say something that's of a different opinion than yours. Police appear to try to help Thorpe to her feet as they removed her. She crawled away on her hands and knees before joining the large counter-protest. So they let her just crawl away and join the counter-protest where if a normal person just went like that and went out of their designated area, they would be arrested. Not her, no, no, no. She just gets helped along by the police and you're fine. And take a guess what? Nothing was done about this. Nothing was done about the incident outside of the strip club as well. By pretty much calling for someone to attack a white person because they're white. On the other side of the parliament lawn, the AFP has referred the incident to its professional standards command. They are destroying people's lives. We and we, and right. this country should be ashamed that they even I let people like this into right. this country. Yeah, so, ah, oh, different opinion. Don't even let them in the country. That's the type of world we live in now, right? Let, let's not just disagree with someone. Let's, let's tell them you're not even allowed in the country. And last but not least, Lydia Thorpe denies dating former bikey boss, so a biker gang boss, and is apparently cleared by wrongdoing by the senators. Yet again, she lives by a different set of rules. She even came out afterwards and went and took pictures on these bikies' bikes and pretty much to rub it in their face. This is the accused guy that he is a biker gang member and slash leader, and she was dating him. And, you know... It's been found that she did date him and he does have links with a biker gang but nothing yet again was done because she lives by different rules and yeah to me she is just a disgrace of a senator i don't know how she ever got voted in in the first place and people that do vote for her i don't know what they are thinking because she doesn't like you first of all she doesn't like anyone if as soon as you disagree with her she will hate you so don't you dare have a different opinion around her because she wouldn't even want you in the country but anyway, I'll end it on that one there. As you can see, everyone that commented, no one likes her. And that's the only reason why I want to point out that I believe take of a grain of salt the accusations she made and she even withdrew it as well. So 
why even do it? You know, why even do it? I'll end it on that one there. Please like the video if you liked it. Comment as well. Let me know what you think. If you do know about this person, let me know what you think. Do you believe what she says or do you believe she's just another narcissist who wants to be in the center of attention? And also subscribe if you do want to see future videos. Thank you for watching.